Hi everyone, welcome to Design School MC. In this video, I will create flat logo design just using ellipse tool and pen tool. And I will create simple flat, but uh, the result is looks good. Okay, first I will create a circle object using ellipse tool. And change the fill color to stroke color. Uh, maybe using fill color and I will change the color using orange color uh, maybe yellow this is my color code you can using same color with me and click OK and I will select my background and I will change the background using black color scroll on the black click OK and put over here and I will duplicate this circle edit bits in front and I will change the, uh, the size of the circle a little bit small and put on the center maybe a little bit small and put on the center okay and select this circle and cut the circle using small circle go to port finder and click minus front zoom in put on the top and uh, select the pencil over here and create object like this click here click here scroll down uh, maybe click here and click here scroll down and click here click here click here scroll going up and click here scroll like that Click this point and close this point, and I will edit this line and this point using direct selection tool. Or you can uh, press E on your key. Click this point, click this point, and scroll like this, and select this point. Put a little bit over here, over here, and click this point, and going down like that. Okay, and I will um, create another object over here using pen tool. Okay, like that. Click here, scroll down, close this point, and select the circle object. Go to Port Finder and click Manage Front to cut the circle object. Okay, uh, maybe I will duplicate this object. Uh, maybe I will cut this object using rectangle tool and create object using rectangle tool like, like this. Click this point and going down. Okay. Select this circle. Go to port finder and click minus front. That looks good. I will group this object. Right click, select group. And I will duplicate this object, go to edit, select copy, edit, pitch in front, click this point, and move like this. Okay, like that. And I will group this object, group. And uh, uh, select rounded rectangle tool and create object like this. Click here, scroll like that. Okay, like this. And maybe I need to make uh, edit this line, this point, a little bit going up. Zoom in. Click this point and a little bit going up. Okay, I think that looks good. And I duplicate this object. Go to edit. Select copy, edit. Pitch in front. Put a little bit down. Maybe over here. Zoom out. Okay, and I will create a um, circle object. I will put on the center. Maybe I will change the color using yellow color. I will copy this yellow. This color. This color. Double click on the field, I will copy this color code, click copy, select the circle, 
double click on the fill, right click over here, and click page, click OK. I has changed this uh, circle object using yellow color, and I will duplicate this object. Go to edit, select copy, edit, page in front, and change the size a little bit small, maybe like this, and put on the center. Okay, like this, maybe I will change a little bit bigger, put on the center. Select this circle and cut using minus front. Okay, like that, and create small circle. Zoom in. Create some more small circle like this. Okay, and put over here. Uh, maybe I will select the pen tool. Click here, here, and create object like this. You can follow me. Just very, very simple. Go to Port Finder and click Minus Run to cut this circle line. Okay, I will adjust this circle. Zoom in. Okay, for here I will uh, create the size a little bit small. Maybe like this. That looks much better. Zoom out and duplicate this circle. Go to Edit, select Copy, Edit, Page in Front and put the circle over here to make this line look smooth okay like that uh, maybe i need to edit this position zoom in and little bit down and select the circle and put over here okay uh, maybe a little bit here okay that looks good little bit down okay zoom out that looks very cool okay guys i hope you learned something in this video and if you are happy with my video tutorial, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel to get new video tutorial every time I update new video. And if you have a question, you can leave a comment below in my YouTube channel. And you can go to my YouTube channel in Design School MC. Don't forget Design School MC. And you can watch more video tutorial and see you on the next video.